Hi, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make credits in Minecraft. So, you know, at the end of the, like an adventure map, even a movie, pretty much any, um, thing almost. No, well, not really, but pretty much, pretty much, I guess, like games and movies, they have credits at the end, you know. Uh, so we're just doing a scroll credit, so it like, kind of just like the regular sort of thing that you see in a movie, I guess. Um, so anyway, so yeah, um, this is for Minecraft Java Edition 1.16.2. Um, it should work in newer versions, but only Java Edition. Sorry if you're in like Xbox or PE or Bedrock Edition. It uh, unfortunately won't work on there. But anyway, my microphone might sound a little odd, but that's uh, because I don't actually have my real microphone right now. But don't worry, it's just this video. So, um... Now, so what do you, you first you have to decide what do you want your background to the, for the credits to be, uh, what the background should be. So just because, just in regular menus, you have dirt. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now you can do anything. You could even you don't even have to do a flat wall. You can you can make your own custom image. You can you can do whatever you want. Uh, but you yeah. But I'm just gonna put a dirt background. You don't even have to have a background. But it's probably would make the most sense if you do have a background. But anyway, um, so you just want to make a pretty big area. Now we will be using command blocks. So unfortunately, if you if you're in survival, uh, this won't really work. Um, you might find a way to do it, but like no, that not actually no, not really. But oh well, sorry. Um, but it's that's a command thing. So anyway. We're gonna do dirt. Um, I'm gonna do dirt. You can do whatever. I um, just want a background. Uh, so yeah. Um, now the only problem with this is like the field of view. Uh, if people have it higher, they might see the corners of it. So you can kind of do whatever you want for that. You can just make it bigger, uh, the dirt area, or you can put like a make a whole room. But then you'll have to light it up. So I'd recommend just expecting them to be. On 70 field of view, 70 FOV, whatever you want to call it. Uh, which, yeah, that shouldn't be, I mean, I mean, you could put that in, like, recommended that you put it at 70, because that's what I'm at right now, and it's fine, but if I put it on, like, Quake Pro, you can see all around me, so, uh, it's, that's the only problem with this, you gotta be careful about that, but if you don't really care of them seeing other stuff, then it's okay. So, what you want to do is, um, you want to have an odd numbered. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't matter. Actually, but um, I'm I'm gonna do an odd number, so you could you should probably do that. Of uh, uh, yeah, I, I guess it doesn't really matter though, as long as it's big enough. So I might actually just do this just so it's big enough. But anyway, you want to get you need to make a dirt pillar that when you stand on it, you're like in the middle of the uh, area. So like you should try standing and then looking straight. Then. <laughs> you know, then you know it should it should appear like uh, straight, like you shouldn't have any. It should all be the dirt and everything, um, in the screen and everything, uh, for you, or whatever. So yeah, just make that however high you want, need or want. But anyway, what you want to do now do is go in the middle here, um, and you want to. Uh, you want to look at this block that I'm looking at. See, so if you have your pillar, look at your pillar. And uh, turn around, so like this, turn around. Make sure you're in line with it. Don't be here or here. So you're going to be like this. And then you want to look at this block, this bottom dirt block here. You want to run slash set block. And then tab three times, they'll get coordinates. So you want to copy these. So if you don't know how to do that, it's control C, at least on Windows. Anyway, you want to copy that to the clipboard. Those three numbers that you'll get. Um, then what you want to do is... Oh, sorry, it's lagging. But anyway, then what you want to do is go behind your uh, your thing. It, you don't have to be in the middle, but yeah. Anyway, um, you're going to have a source of, like, power, I guess? So I don't really know the best way to do this, but this is... Well, it doesn't have to be like that, but... You need to make it where when you press something or do something, you can make it any trigger, but you need to make it so that... Um, you, when you, it's either a button or a lever or a pressure plate or even a special trigger command or it's automatic when you reach in there. You can do whatever you want, but you need to 
spot that will activate some redstone. Just like this. So what you need to do is, say this is your power source here. What you need to do is um, get a command book. So if you type in this command, slash give at s command underscore block, you should get a command block. Then, well, place it down. So this command is, um, well, actually, um, there is, uh, yeah, you'll need to put down a command block. So you have those coordinates, so make sure you still have them. So you need to go, this command is going to contain slash, well, you don't actually need slash. Summon, um, then it's going to be arm or stand, and then paste your thing, your Minecraft call arm stand, and then do that. And then in here, you want to say marker colon one in visible one, <clears throat> and then I, I will actually, well, I don't, I guess, yeah, I'll leave this command in the description, I think, um, but you can follow along. So, marker one, invisible one. And you say custom name. You need to. There, you're gonna have like two of these. So you're gonna have custom name visible, just like that. Colon one, and you're also gonna have custom name. And then you're going to put. Okay. Uh, what you wanna do is do this and this. So you see those, and then you wanna put these. Th this looks really weird. But it's, um, it's with spaces between all of them. It's do, 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 do. That's basically what you want, but then remove the spaces. And that's what we have. So then in the middle of that, uh, you can type whatever you want. So, um, text. So I think in the description that's going to be that, um, uh, it's going to say text and that's what you replace. And as you can see, it says text on the uh, right here. Now you'll notice something is actually wrong. Is I kind of messed it up. Um, I didn't realize that. Uh, what you actually need to do is here. Then you, you the set block. These are the actual coordinates you need. It's one in front. That's towards the uh, pillar you have. That's actually what you want. So just go ahead and replace the coordinates. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, and now I think it should work. So you do that. Yeah, there we go. Now it's not in here. Now I'm actually going to uh, kill the armor stand. Now be careful with this because if you have other armor stands in the world, it will get rid of those. So you should do like probably um, uh, sort nearest and then, or distance five actually is right. So I th that's probably a good idea and then stand near them. That should make it safer or something. If you had other stuff in it, so yeah, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, the, the distance five thing. Uh, but I don't actually have any armor stands in this world. It's just me. Um, that's the only entity, and I'm not an armor stand. So yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's that's that. Uh, that's perfect. That's exactly what you want. Um, yeah. Now what you need to do is you can. I'm actually going to move this over here. Uh, which is what you should do. You gotta be careful, actually. Like, it, it doesn't matter, I guess, the way, but you gotta remember it, because that's gonna be important which side you put it on. But you should remember. I mean, it it seems easy right now, but you'll see, you'll see. Uh, so then you can put a block here, and then what you wanna do is... I think this is correct. Actually, um, there is a problem with this. Oh, some new text, yeah. Uh, there's a problem with this. Yeah, it lasts a little too long. Okay, see... Let's, let's put this back here. Uh, I'm going to get a piston. Sticky piston. Uh, so this is like your power source. Uh, it's, I think it's, it's a kind of odd way to do it. Actually, I, no, I can go back here. I think. Um, yeah, so it's like this. Yeah, this is what you want. Okay, yeah, this is right. So then you do this. Uh, you want to set it to four ticks. Actually, if you want faster credits, uh, or like more credits in the time, whatever, you can change this. I'm just going to do four ticks, because that's a pretty good amount, I think. Um, and I won't really need that fast of credits. I won't need new text every... Well, I probably will need it every four ticks, but no more than that. Uh, you actually see, yeah, I'm going to do that command again, uh, to kill them. Um, those armor stands, because, yeah, I 
Right, that's the thing. And you actually need, in this command, you want to actually write, you should do this at the start, actually, if you haven't actually followed along yet, you should do this at the start, you, before you run the command and everything. You need to put the tags, and these are up to you, you can type whatever you want in here. I'm just going to do CT for credits text, uh, so it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, it's just make sure you don't use a tag you already have used in your map or it might mess up these it, I don't know it might not but yeah um, just make sure you just use a new tag or something um, yeah so that's that so now this is going to be very convenient because we can separate these armor stands from some other armor stands so if you'll notice I'm just gonna demonstrate what that tag thing does so here, if uh, we, if we do run the normal command it just gets rid of all of them which is annoying because you might want to keep that other armor stands. So we have to text here. Multiple because it's a little more transparent in here. I think, oh, that's interesting. I don't know. Interesting. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, what you have this. So what you can actually now do is that you have spawned them. And keep in mind, this won't work if you just change the command. It won't work. You have to summon them. Only newly summoned uh, text will text so yeah the armor stands will actually use be able to use this tag thing so if I do CT uh, kill the tag then it kills those uh, and not this one which is very convenient so just for demonstration purpose or not demonstration but just so that you can see I'm gonna always have this armor stand here you don't have to do that it's just show that make sure if that goes away uh, then you might have you then you might have not specified only armor stand with the tag. You actually don't even need the armor stand part. You can just say every entity with a tag of CT. Now I didn't spawn any, but if I do, you got a text through the wall there. You can see it. It's gone, but not the armor stand. Okay, so that's that. So that if you have that, that's good. Now what you need to do is um <clears throat> you need to put commands here. Um, and what you actually want to do is this. Uh, so this is kind of, it might seem odd or something. Actually, what I'm going to do is, um, actually, never mind. So yeah, this might seem a little interesting, but I'm going to put a bunch of these. This is what you need to do. Um, and then you need to put a bunch of four tick repeaters. Now, there is a tip. If you have super long credits and you want, if you, and you don't want to, like, constantly place all the repeaters and set the ticks, you can actually go F3I. So that's that. Put your command block down, set it to always active, click done, look back in it, paste the command, uh, and then change the coordinates to just tildes, enter, and then control, and then your middle click key, and then it should say plus nbt, and then you can now place, and it automatically puts four ticks on them. So, if that's too complicated, you can just place them manually, but that's just a tip for easily placing your, uh, those blocks, and that works with anything, actually. Like, anyway, yeah, I'm not going to demonstrate that. It takes too long. But, yeah. Uh, so then you have that. Uh, then they will always make some vortex things. So, anyway. Next, what you need to do, we have that. We have nothing in these. So, you're going to make this repeat. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Just repeat. Not always active. Repeat. And then this is also going to be repeat. Uh, so yeah, now what you want to do is in any of these commands, you want, or actually, no, in all of them. Oh, uh, but, but first, actually, we should test. So let's, let's push the button. Okay, so you can see that the thing goes on, and that's, that's good. So that, that is correct. So that's, that's good. So in one of the command blocks, um, it doesn't matter which, any of the, either of the repeating ones, you're going to run, or, or type, actually, execute as at e tag equals ct or or the tag that you, you put the tag that you set is here um so i did ct put ct at at s run tp at s tilde space tilde 0.25 tilde now that's everything you need to do however the speed in which all of your text uh like rolls up or scrolls, whatever you want to call it, right at how fast it goes up, this, uh, th then, then change the, uh, 0.25 part. Um, with the higher the value, so if we did one, that would actually be extremely fast. Now, it might not seem like that would be fast, but, now it's not actually complete, so it's gonna be a little odd, but watch the, um, text thing. Yeah, did you see that? It's hard, it's hard to see. I might get rid of this part of the wall for a second here. So, uh, anyway, watch closely. 
Oh, what the heck? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm shifting. Oops. Okay, watch. Boom, did you see that? Okay. Actually, you'll notice that you get chat spam. So be careful. You want to do slash game rule. Uh, command block output false. Just this. Run that. There you go. Now you won't get that. But if you watch the text, it zooms up. They all zoom up, which that's a little fast for the credits. So uh, you're, that's what one is. So point two five is uh, a little nicer. You can see it's just a little, a little fast. Uh, or it's not. It, it doesn't go for long, but you can see that it. It goes up. It's actually kind of fast, or even then. So I might go one to five, which is half of even that. So that makes it nice and slow. So you can mess around with the value, whatever you want to do. And then this command is uh, actually a little. Well, it's not actually in It's not complicated. So, um, what you want to do is uh, place an arm stand facing your credits area. Now make sure it's not like this. It has to be facing exactly here, this way. Actually, I'm gonna kill all the CTs. Okay. Uh, yeah. So make sure it's facing that way. Then what you want to do is um, go run slash TP. L look at the armor stand. Uh, look at it, and then run slash TP. Uh, and then space, and you should see one of these. Um, one of these options will be. A long string of characters. It won't be this one. Oh, it's not. Probably not. It shouldn't. I mean, it, it, I guess it probably won't be this. But if it's just a long string of characters, that's the one you want. You press enter. Now that's it. Uh, well, that's not it. But now don't move. What you want to do is now press F3 and uh, C. Uh, quickly. Don't hold C down or you'll crash. Actually, because of it. That's a debug crash thingy that they added just in case you need to crash. But just don't hold down. But then you'll get the copied location to. Just clipboard uh, uh, chat message, at least you should. Then what you want to do is on the last command block that's repeating, the other one that the, that was not the, this one, um, then you want to put this command in, which you'll... Oh, it's cracked. Okay. <laughs> you want to put this command in. Uh, so it'll give you some... It'll give you something a little bit like this. But what you want to do is um, at the... Oh yeah, this isn't actually going to... What you want to do is, um, after the execute, you want to go as at a at at s. Uh, so this will put everyone, um, everyone, it'll execute as everyone. So you'll notice, if I press the button, I get teleported right to that armor stand. Now, you don't need a side armor stand anymore. So now if I press it, I'm teleported. And actually, if I start running... I can't run until later, so it's because it's spamming that. But what you're going to want to do is if you put multiple of these, multiple of these, I don't think that's right, but anyway, if you put more than one of these, like this, then now you'll actually be trapped there for quite a while. Like, how did I put, I didn't type these in, did I? What you actually do, I kind of forgot to mention, is control middle click, just like you did on the other one, but you control and then your pick block key, on them, and then you should select uh, the same block, but it had plus NWT. That's what you need to do. So these might appear empty, actually. You want to redo that. You want to control, middle click, or copy, control, pick block, and then do this um, again if, it, if they didn't have the fans in. But anyway, I'm trying to move. I'm trying, but I can't. And eventually, I can move. So anyway, that that's because I uh, finished the, uh, the animation thingy of this. Uh, anyway, so... Something you actually want to keep an eye on is, or not keep an eye on, but what you want to make sure of, what you want to do is on this first one here, you want to run slash, or no, you don't need a slash, uh, but in here you want to make it a command block, a regular one, needs redstone impulse, unconditional, and you want to go game mode spectator at A. Now, this um, at A here, and this at A here, these are going to execute all the players, but if you only want one person to do the credits, you can do specify the person or whatever. Um, but assuming you want everyone in the map to do it, then you just do at A. Um, but now you'll notice if I press the button, I'm actually in spectator mode, which, yeah, that's cool. Um, and then I could escape then, because, yeah. So I'm actually in spectator mode, and I can't move around here. 
Uh, so yeah, you, you, it's basically, I can't move until later, and then I can switch my game mode. Well, actually, you can technically switch your game mode, but no one's gonna be, uh, have, like, op or whatever, so they can't really. Um, but you gotta be careful. So after you do this, uh, you're gonna be in spectator mode, so you can just slash game mode creative to put yourself back to creative mode when it's done. Or you can actually, if you know, you can just put a command lock at the end or something that puts you in survival, but, or, I mean, creative, whatever you want. But that's for later. That's at the end. Okay. Uh, so now I'm actually going to kill all the CTs. Okay, anyway, um, so, yeah, so that's pretty good so far. Uh, what you will now want to do is copy pretty much every command except for the spectator one, because you don't actually need to spam this, because the game mode can't really be changed, and if people are going to have, like, op on the server, uh, op, we're going to be operators, I guess you might want to put that on every grass block, but I don't think you need to do that. Um, because most people probably won't be able to change their game mode, uh, or they just won't because that's, that's, I mean, cheating, I guess, sort of? But anyway, you want to, now you're probably wondering, what did you just do? Oh, and even for this one, you'll notice that there's, like, how did I put, I didn't type these in, did I? What you actually do, I kind of forgot to mention, is control middle click, just like you did on the other one, but you control, and then your pick block key on them, and then you should select uh, the same block, but it had plus NWT. That's what you need to do. So these might appear empty, actually. You want to redo that. You want to control, middle click, or copy, control, pick block, and then do this um, again if, it, if they didn't have the fans in. But anyway, actually, okay, yeah. Anyway, so that's something to be mindful about. Uh, but yeah, now we're going to do this. Put a bunch more command blocks here. Okay, that's good. Now, actually, you kind of want to be careful. You don't really want to middle click them, but just for demonstration, I am going to do it in the same way. But anyway, let's press the button and see what happens. So you see, I go in spectator, and then you've got a bunch of text here. Now, you'll notice that I can see all these armor stands, so actually, I suppose then it's not a good idea for them to be in spectator, so do adventure. Because you cannot break or interact with blocks in this mode, so this is very helpful. But anyway, you can see it's the credits are all text and everything. <laughs> yeah, pretty weird. Uh, and yeah, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that's not exactly what we want, so... We won't actually... We're gonna do other stuff. So yeah, I'm actually gonna kill all them again. But yeah, and we do still have our armor stand, we should. Anyway, so yeah, once you do that, then it's good. Okay, now... The thing you want to be careful of, or not careful of, but now the pretty much the only thing left is all of these. So, with, instead of putting text here, you're going to put, like, you can say, like, credit, colon, or something. Also, if it, if it ever goes, like, red, uh, you can't actually use that character. The, uh, like, if I put a backslash, it doesn't like it. If I put a quote, actually it works, but it, it's, it's, pr I recommend it stick, don't stick to crazy, uh, th don't stick to, like, weird characters, like, don't go with quotes and things. Probably just numbers and letters and underscores would be the best. Oh, and spaces, actually. Uh, be careful with the, if, if, if one of them doesn't spawn in, that's because it w will, it's actually, it didn't work, or if some weird, it looks odd, then that means you probably had a character that it, a type of letter, or number, whatever, that it didn't like. Well, you can't, I mean, all numbers and letters should be fine, but, like, weird characters like these, and, uh, like, I don't know, like, these and stuff, well, not the P, but, yeah, um, yeah, those should be fine. I mean, no, th those won't be fine, only the P, but, yeah, anyway, because I was doing this, and I put P in it, a anyway, but those, all the other ones should, might break it, I don't know, so just be careful, but, anyway, you want to, you have your things here, so it says credits colon, then, um, you'll notice if I just say, like, text, and I can, like, da -da -da, I can add a bunch of, oh, wait, don't press escape, you don't want to enter, there we go, and, like, da -da -da, I can put a bunch of text so it's all different, like, oh, it's a long line, be careful, though, if you, I'm gonna demonstrate something, oops, I put that, it won't like that, well, I don't know, but, yeah, I'm gonna put, like, a super long thing here, and, uh, at the end, I'm gonna put, wow, exclamation points. Okay, so that's gonna demonstrate something that you'll see in a sec. Um, so anyway, now when we do this, well, first of all, you'll see that it's a bunch of things. 
Uh, so this is pretty normal. It looks good apart from that, but I'm just keeping that there. I don't think we need that anymore. But yeah, so as you can tell, oh, you hear the length, one case. Anyway, that that was good. That that was good. But if you'll notice, let's let let's look at let's look at this. Watch. There is no wow on the end of the that text there. You can even see that here. There is no wow because it's actually way further down this way. It's actually so that's the problem with it. If you have too long of a line, it will cut off and you won't actually see the whole thing. So be careful. So um if you actually do need something this long, but you can't actually do that cuz uh, it doesn't work or whatever cuz it's too long. Um then what what you want to do is find the command. Where is it? That's Oh, here it is. Um, you want to get like half of it um, in your copied place or whatever. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. Um, I don't know how much it can actually fit, but I'll just try that. So you want to like take some of it uh, there and then put that on to the next one. Um, uh, if if that does happen. So now we have. Let's see what we have now. What would happen? Uh, well, we have... Okay, so, unfortunately, you can see it still is too long. So, you, but basically, you do get the idea. Like, it, if it's too long, you take half of it and put it down. But anyway, but hopefully you won't be dealing with things that long. Long. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, uh, another thing that you might be noticing, well... You do get duplicates of things, uh, but that's not really the point. We'll worry about that later. But if I actually run it, um, they're a little close together. I mean, not for everyone. Like, some people want these this close together, but sometimes you want a break if you're going on to a new, I guess, like, part to it or whatever. Um, like, if you're, like, that's the main credits, and then you got the music part, and you kind of want to separate that. Uh, what you can do is, like, the, uh, and then you're in away, okay, then you're, like... Again, this maybe this is the music. Well, what you actually want, you can mute, you know, or oops, music, or whatever. So yeah, you have that or something. I mean, I don't actually have any music. That was any music. I just made it up. Anyway, and then the first one isn't going to be blank, but you just get rid of the command block. Um, and if it had something, then you're gonna get rid of the next one. But whatever. Maybe you want to also have a space between that, and then you've got the rest of it. Oh, I messed it up. Oops. Okay, well, that's, oh, well, actually, that's a fine one. And then you've got the rest of them. And if I'm just, like, I can put bigger spaces, again, yeah, it's up to you, though. Um, and there is something that I'm actually going to do. So, as you can see now, it's pretty fine. you got credits, text, space, music, space, and then other stuff. And then you actually have a few more spaces, just like we did. So, anyway, um, you'll, now, what will actually happen if I put, um, in the spaces, if I put the text as being like just blank, then you'll notice that you get it's hard to see, I think, but you will get, um, yeah, you can see right there. I'm actually going to go up there for you to see. It. Oh, okay, that doesn't work. You can actually see here, uh, yeah, there's a little tiny thing there that's actually the text, um, but it's blank, so it's just kind of a line. Or whatever so yeah you probably don't want it like that it's up to you uh, so you can do whatever you however you want it if you want blank lines in the middle but I don't so I'm just gonna leave that uh, get rid of the command block um, and another thing though is actually never mind um, but yeah so um, yeah so now even now though it seems still a little fast for at least for regular just credits so what are we going to do? Well, it's pretty easy. What you're going to want to do is, um, change the values again. Um, so this is actually going to be a little easier, uh, or, well, not easier it, than it might seem, I guess, because you'd think I'll have to change all of these, and I mistyped it, but no, you can actually just get rid of most of them. Make sure you're getting rid of the right command block, though. Um, but you got your 0 .05, 0 .05, blah, blah. So yeah, make sure that you use the control pick block function thing, uh, the, the thing, that thing, yeah, the control pick block. You need to do that to um, do that, and now as you can do that, to the, ugh, whatever. Now you can see it's a little slower, however, 
something did happen. Um, so what happened actually was, as you can see, now all of the text is closer together. You'll notice that the music, like it goes blah, and then the space isn't as big as it was. And that's because, um, it's, uh, well, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but to make this more obvious, let's go for an entire block. Now, I might not do this the whole way, but I, don't know, I guess, I don't know. Let's just, I guess we'll do that. Okay. Um, we need to do that for the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, so basically, the thing that you'll notice here is, is um, now that they're way faster, as you can see, um, you won't be able to read that, but the point is not that, but it's the, uh, as you can see, now the spaces between... Uh, like the blah and music is way bigger. Uh, so the slower the speed, the closer together all of your things are. So that's something you gotta get or get you know, to remember, I guess. So, um, but yeah, I'm I'm okay with them being that close. But if you don't want them to, you can just put spaces between all of them and two spaces uh, between like ones that you want big, bigger spaces so yeah it's up to you what you do um and that's why we do four ticks if you did one tick then they would spawn much much closer together and in credits that can just look weird when they're too close together it's hard to read so but you can have them close together it's up you can do whatever you want um so yeah now we have our credits which look good now it actually didn't really go through for all of it so so let's demonstrate um so I'm on another problem. So if you just, I'm gonna put in end. So this is where the credits end, as it would make sense by the what it's called. So let's just get rid of it. So let's say you started your credits is great, and as you can see, this is fine, except when well, you have your end. But the only thing is that you um, have like. There's, you never see the end, and it never, like, goes up, it just stops as soon as end appears, or whatever. Oh, actually, it stops a little later than that. Uh, so, we'll get to that in a second, but one other tiny thing is, you'll see it says, your game has been actually, so, to adventure mode. So, just game rules, send command feedback false, and that fixes that little problem. Um, so now when I do that, it doesn't give me that message. So, anyway, back to the other part that is more insane. Um, the more, like, bad, I guess? I don't know. So to fix the issue, what you're going to do is you're going to want to just pretty much repeat this, but not everything. So, get your, I'm, I'm going to clone, you don't have to do the clone, um, because if it, you might mess it up or something, but I'm not saying you will, but I'm just saying if you don't think you know how to do clone very well, that's okay, you don't have to do it this way. Um, anyway, I'm just going to do it, because it's a little fast. Place, uh... Yeah. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Fine. Then force. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, it's right here. Get rid of it, right? <laughs> okay. Boom. There we go. I can get rid of these. Don't need them. Okay, okay, yeah. So I fixed it. Sort of. Um, yeah. Uh, so, actually, I'm gonna... Right, if I... Tilda, tilda my... Tilda, okay. I think this should be enough of them. Um, so yeah, now I just copied a bunch of them. Um, so we're gonna look for the end one. Um, okay, so this is the end. Okay, I'm, I'm actually just, blah. Okay. Uh, because see, this is the end one, so after that, you just want to get rid of all of them, or just never place them if you didn't use a clone. But you basically want to do exactly what you've been doing, just without the impulse ones, but the others will remain. So then, at the end, um, now, we actually... The amount more that you'll need is dependent on how fast your things are running. So if they go a lot faster, you won't need very many more. But if they go slow, then you might need a few more. So I think this is good. So for the end of it, what you're going to do is... Well, I'm going to... What you're going to do is kill at e tag equals... And then this is going to be your... Um, this right here is going to be your... Uh, that is that's gonna be um, the CT is gonna be the tag you made it so I did CT so right that but you gotta make sure it's a impulse needs resume 
And you don't have to do this, but I am because I'm gonna because I want to. I want to set my game of the creative uh, after, but be careful because like if you're on the map, you probably won't want them to be in creative mode. So be careful. I mean, you you might you if you wanted them to go in spectator at the end or something, then you can do spectator. It, it, it's up to you. Um, but you don't even have yeah, yeah like you you probably won't even need to do that at all. I, I, like, you might, you might not even have that command. The only thing you'll really need is to kill the things command so that it clears it up after the end of everything. But anyway, um, so I've, I've, I can't move. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try running. Okay, there you go. So I, 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 I was able to run and they all died. Um, so what you could tell there was it didn't go long enough. So, um, what I'm gonna do is clone it again. Okay. So, clone here. Clear, <laughs> clear here to here. Well, clone this <clears throat> to uh, here, I guess. Um, wait. Um, I want to try something. Okay, okay. I'm actually gonna do this one. Uh, this different coordinates, but yeah. Uh, so then that's that. And then so what I'm actually gonna do is this. Uh, so tilde, tilde, and then replace. Force. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have to do the clone. You don't have to use the clone command. You can do it however you want. I'm just going to use the oh. Oh right, it's not going to work. Oops, I deleted my other one. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put it back. Uh, it can be it's it can be one tick. The uh, the last one. It's it's up to you. I mean, I don't really know what you need to do. Well, and actually, no. I mean, it can be the same, but I I'm going to do one tick. I think. Um. Actually, no. I'm going to do four ticks. <laughs> Yeah, I, it's, I recommend you for it. Um, anyway, oops, <laughs> can't get a com command block creative into inventory. But anyway, um, I'm gonna do this again. No, not me. I wanna do at a. Okay. Also, this is kill a tag. No, nope, not type tag equals tt. No, that's not right. C t t t. Okay. Um, create yeah, not not creative text. So something with the c credits text. Yeah. Okay, so now that I did that, let's try it now. I'll actually get clear my inventory. I don't know why I had dirt in my offhand. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so as you can see, it's fine. And we hit the end. Um, and it should go off the screen. I'm running now. Okay, now it left. So we just gotta wait for it to finish. Uh, okay, there we go. So it's a little long. It didn't actually have to be that long, but whatever. Now. You might run into a problem where um, it doesn't actually do the last part. Your chunks might not be loaded. So what I would recommend doing is going... Actually, you don't even have to do that. What you want to do is look at the button. Then go force load add tab tab those two coordinates. There you go. You can run the command. Actually, for now, I'm going to do game rules send command feedback true. Just so that I can see that uh, to make sure it is working. Uh, anyway, then you want to go to this end end, blah, not end, but yeah. Uh, this end part here, uh, force will add, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there we go. Mark six chunks in the overworld, uh, and it's gonna be different. Um, if it actually says, like, too many chunks, then you're gonna have to, like, stop halfway and then mark those and then start again or something. Your credit shouldn't be that long, though, but yeah. Um, anyway, that, that should be, I mean, I guess it depends on what you're doing, but yeah, it should be able to handle them. It can do up to 256 chunks at a time. Uh, so, it shouldn't really be that long. That's actually a very large distance. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and as you can see, it works. It already worked because we didn't go that far. And this is me trying to move around right now. You can see outside a little. And it does look a little odd. But, um, oh well, I guess. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, uh, right. I did, um, said adventure mode, didn't it? Yeah, we don't want the command feedback. There we go. That's about it. So if you have enjoyed this video, can't leave. Oh gosh, I, ooh, I've never tried this like in F5 mode. This is funny looking. We okay. It's, it's okay. Um, this is interesting. I'm like running but not going anywhere. Ooh, there we go. So anyway, that's about it. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoy.